look at that butt. Nice butt. Hey internet, it's Jessica, oh, and I'm welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition Trespasser DLC. So, in the last episode, we discovered uh, the Vidasala. We met her. She's trying to control the magic of the South, so she's trying to assassinate everyone who's like a leader or an important role in Thetis. Um, there's uh, traitors in the Inquisition, and they happen to be elves, so that's great. And now, we are going to go try to stop the Canari, obviously. But... It seems like Solus is interfering with the Kunari's plans because Vidasala said the agent of Fen Harel is interfering with our our plans. Wait, where are we? The sooner we stop this invasion plan, the better. Um, are we in what is the Kunari's place called again? Oh my god, I'm, it's the name is escaping me, but are we in their home? Because I see the, like, nice-looking ass, like, look at that butt. Nice butt, and it's a Kunari. And how come they have so many Alluvians here? This is very fucking weird. Bull, explain yourself! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear it, but Dorian said I'm too pretty to die. <laughs> oh my god, were they just going around collecting Alluvians trying to figure out which one was the right one to Thetis and like the important areas of Thetis? Alluvian studies, the writing on these pages is completely in incomprehensible. Even the native speaker of Kunlat. The handwriting resembles scratches of an inebriated chicken, but the drawing is malicious. An excruciatingly careful study of several Alluvians, along with the exploded diagram of their inner workings. What? And they have veil fire with them. Are we in Sahara or something? Oh no! Oh, we should hurry. Oh no, Ellie is dying. Here they come. Shit. Holy I fuck! Wish I am surprised that Vitasala wants to murder everyone. But it makes sense. I guess I can't really blame the Kunari either. I mean, because they, they they don't know what's really going on, right? In the South, they just think that everybody's wow. This this man looks very handsome and very anyway. But uh, <laughs> um, but I don't like. I get it, right? From Bull's perspective, he's been been told condition like this is like oh everything people are doing in the South are very evil and like they're gonna destroy the whole world. So like I get it, but you essentially you want to commit genocide. So I'm not all about that. Wait a second. Is that Red Lyrium? It is. What? These must be X like mages. Yeah. Do the Kunari have any idea what they're dealing with? Bull, do you know? I feel like he doesn't know, right? Because it's been two years since he's been in the Kunari, so. What the hell, man? Also, what? That is Solus. That's fucking Solus right there. Excavated mural believed to be self-portrait by Fen Harrell. Yeah, Solus is a painter, so yeah. <laughs> one sees the hunter, one flees from it, one hunts it in turn, one outwits them all. Oh, hello, Fen Harrell statue, Solus. Is that an Astrarium? How did the Kunari move it here? A word of advice: stay away from the glowing pyramid. How did the Kunari get everything? Look! They have all like the elven like ancient artifacts. The Sturium, the fucking glowing pyramid thingy. Is that Elganon statue? I don't remember. And fucking Fenhar what the hell? Wow, that's so fucking weird. That's quite the door. What the hell is this? Can we unlock it? Is there a way to do that? Oh good, yes, this is what I like. So what the hell are the Kunari just- Oh, that guy didn't see me, what a dumbass. Oh, I like using it, but it's killing Ellie and I don't like that. Dragon's Blood Prime, this document appears to be written in entirely Kunlat, but contains a number of complicated diagrams, including detailed blueprints of Halam Sharal and a number of other palaces' fortresses. 
They're unlocking Luvians. Morrigan said the key to an Alluvian could be anything, including knowledge or power. So they're stockpiling both. That's how they got the keystone and opened so many of the Alluvians we've seen. Hopefully they don't have any more ancient magic crap to throw at us. That dragon skull would make a wicked armchair, though. Maybe we could take it back to Skyhold after this. Bull, this is not the time. <laughs> this is not the time for you to be furniture shopping. <gasps> so dragon's breath is actually a dragon. It's not a metaphor. Dragon's breath is an actual dragon? Oh shit. Oh hey. Oh god. Hisrat now, please. Not a chance, ma'am. Fuck you, bulls with me. <laughs> so if um if uh, you didn't save the chargers in Iron Whoa, what the fuck? In Iron Bull's um uh, personal quest, he actually betrays you in this and he actually you have to fight Iron Bull. And it's very heartbreaking, especially if you're in a romance with him, because he ends up attacking you regardless. And even if he's in a relationship with Dorian too. So I, I couldn't do that. I can't- Bull is my bro, and at the same time, I love the Chargers, so I can't- I could never do that. I don't know, has anyone not saved the Chargers and then let Iron Bull be like a traitor to the Inquisition? Because that's really sad. Oh my god. Optional, free the dragon instead. I am freeing the dragon. I don't give a shit what anyone says. All right, we're gonna free the dragon. Fuck this shit. I feel bad for it. Okay, okay, okay. How do we free it though? We're gonna fight the dragon or what? Bull, I know you're very excited about this, but we need to like free it. That is just my opinion though. But how do we free the dragon? I don't want to fight it. Yes! I wanted to save it because there's no point in killing the dragon. I know Bull, you know, gets very excited about these things, but... To me, there's no point in doing that. You fuck him up! <laughs> Shit. Where are they going? God damn it. Oh no. Dear Inquisitor, you have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven what does that mean? Elven tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. Well, Dragon's Breath is no better. I, I know they think it is because it's not, but we're not working with them either, you jackass. Whatever you think I've done, mass assassination isn't a good moral high ground. The South was poisoned by these elves' manipulations. It suffers just as you do now. I hate this. I hate that mark on your hand, the elves are the reason why everything's wrong. Agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach, who led you to Skyhold, who gave Corypheus the orb, then found Solus. the Inquisition. Solus, agent of Sanferel. <laughs> Honey, you got it wrong. It's the other way around. What? Um... Okay, since I said earlier, Elia has no idea what Solus did, right? Because he just fucking left. He didn't explain anything. He promised that he would explain everything to her, but she doesn't know. Obviously, we know because we, we saw everything. So, I feel like Elia would be upset about this, you know? Because she was in love with him, so it's kind of like upsetting to hear that. Solus is an agent of Fen Harrell. Did you not know? We thought you were his ally. Solus tricked us You're sleeping with the man, we didn't even know. Canari into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. That, that was gentle by mass genocide? What? <laughs> Anna Hayden, Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. Honey, I don't know about that. You know. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so you can have an option to like end the relationship here because I seriously believe that your Inquisitor, the Inquisitor will be carried over into the Dragon Age 4 because every Dragon Age so far has been a different main character. But I really think that Inquisitor is going to be in Dragon Age 4 because originally Hawk was supposed to be the Inquisitor. That was the plan, but he wasn't popular enough because the Dragon Age 2 wasn't like popular enough as the first one, so they changed it. But I think they're going to carry over the Inquisitor. And, um, I want Elia to st still be in a relationship with Solus, because you can end it if you wanted to, but... Everyone's gonna judge me, I know they are. That's why Solus... Oh, we went cold! A bruise is cold, what the fuck? We have to save him. Sorry, guys. I still believe in Solus, I know he's probably doing something wrong, but he's probably just misunderstood, right? Oh, dear. Everybody hates me now. <laughs> They're like, Inquisitor, what the fuck's wrong with you? Come on, the Vidasala can't be too far ahead. Okay, we're all almost dead though, so that's actually not good. Why well, I don't know. Oh no, they're playing Solus' theme, I can hear it. Fuck. I'm gonna get emotional very really soon. There they are, they're just fucking running away. Oh no. Oh, oh. The anchor now builds up power even faster, using it's difficult, but it um, discharges all of my focus. The focus reaches full power, the anchor discharges uncontrollably, damaging you and your allies as well as nearby enemies. Great! Solus, an agent of Fenharel. I should have suspected. Okay, let's be honest here. The first time I met Solus, I was really intrigued by him because like, I'm attracted to those like intelligent characters in video games anyway. So I was like very like interested in him because he's so mysterious. But you know, the mysterious characters are always dangerous, especially in Dragon Age. We should have known that something was wrong with Solus. I kind of knew as long when I started playing the game because Solus kept saying weird shit. Like he knew all this stuff and he didn't explain how he knew it. He just kept saying, "Oh, the Fade. I was in the Fade. Blah blah blah." And I know all these things. Like, how do you know that? It made no sense to me. But yeah, he that just knew too sense. much for no reason. What? Great! Amazing! I love it when the Kunari Defender come out and, like, try to kill us. Oh, shit! Wow, I didn't do that. Oh, no. It's, it's even more powerful, but it's killing everybody. Also, I'm almost dead. Oh, wow, look! A statue of Fenharel, Solus. Do you have to do that? Does he have to have, like, statues of himself everywhere? <laughs> Just reminding me how much pain he caused me? <laughs> Okay, I want to use this thing. No, Cassandra, get away! Oh. God damn it. Shit. Oh no, oh no. Holy shit, dude. I'm almost dead. Did Solus know this was gonna happen? Well, well, wait a second. I don't think Solus knew this was gonna happen. Like, the whole... Um... It could probably kill you kind of thing because I feel like he didn't know because he kept asking Elia like how do you feel um, you know do you do you seem different or whatever like wh when you when you got the mark where's this fucking last guy the hell please tell me we're there already oh my god I can't believe we're gonna find Solus already this is so nerve wracking because. For Elia, she hasn't seen him in two years. And he didn't say goodbye, he didn't explain anything, that piece of shit just left. <laughs> and like, the choice I made for Elia, she was- oh shit, Dorian! Oh god. I'm legit dying. Holy shit, this is not good. But I made Elia very angry at Solus, because I was angry at Solus, because that asshole didn't explain anything. God damn it. I want to use my anchor, but like everybody's around me and I don't want to kill them. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh... It's not fair, Elliot got her heart broken, now she's dying. What kind of bullshit is this? 
Oh my god, not, not yet, right? That's too easy. Where are we? Oh god, come on! Who is this? Is this an ogre? No, it's a Sarah. Fucking hell. Alright, I gotta use my anchor. Oh, come on, guys, you gotta get out of the way. I don't wanna kill you. Yo, holy crap, man. This is so cool, but that's extremely scary, because she can die. Be ready. They have reinforcements. Wow, amazing. Does the Vinicella, like, have, like, an army with her? Like, where are these Canari coming from? That's what I want to know. Also, I- I- <laughs> Once again, I want to use this, it's just- The problem is- Everybody is getting in the way. I need to stand back. Oh, shit. Not again! Oh, shit. What the fuck? It seems the Cerebas is no longer following orders. What is it doing? Did it just run away? You will not leave here, Inquisitor. Damn, the Cerebus just up and left. I would too, honestly. Die, you bitch. Fuck off. Ah, oh, come on. And there's so many Luvians here. Okay, fine. I'm gonna use the anchor again. I'm gonna be like that, fine. Fucking die, all of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Move, boss. So just push through them? Maybe we should do that. Can I do that? I don't want to fight everywhere. There's too fucking many of them. Move. Get out of the way. Move. Get out. Ow. Oh, I can go through. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> hey guys, it's just in the editing room. So unfortunately, my microphone um, fucking switched in the middle of this video. So as you can tell, uh, my audio software decided to use my webcam microphone instead of my actual microphone. That's why it sounded like shit near the end. So I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, I I didn't make an outro in this because I just realized when it wasn't recording the right microphone, I just ended the recording. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Dragon Age Inquisition, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And I promise we will see Solus in the next video because we're already at the end. I can tell we're at the end of this DLC. So... I swear, we will find Solus in the next video, and we can finally fucking yell at him. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Sayer! Ah! <laughs> the Sayer had a ship! <laughs> Quickly, Sarno dropped to his knees and placed his hands over her, uh, her wound while he wrapped his arms.